Well, the CARES Act, or unemployment assistance of up to about $600, will end at the end of July. So how do you protect your finances at that point? Joining me now is debt resolution attorney, Leslie Tain. Thank you so much for your time. So this, I know you have a lot of different points here. This may sound easy at first, but is, some of it is just cutting the discretionary spending. Tell us about that. Yes, it is. Actually, with the CARES Act and the pandemic unemployment ending shortly, there's a lot of consideration. So some of that really is dipping into your budget. What's going on with your budget today and in the future and what kind of income you have? cutting out some discretionary spending that you might have been able to spend on while you had the extra money with pandemic unemployment may have to end now. And another another point you make is uh, housing costs and we have some dates that uh, people need to be aware of, right? Yes, yes, absolutely with the housing costs. So if you've had some assistance with housing and that would be based on again the CARES Act which are federally held you will have some dates that are coming up where those programs are ending. So it's really important right now to be aware of ending dates. And it's always uncomfortable, but you should think about contacting your creditors, even though that's uncomfortable to do that. Absolutely. Don't be afraid of having a conversation with your creditors. Be prepared to do so. Don't make agreements that you can't keep up with, but have a conversation and say, listen, I'm struggling. What can you offer me during this time? I need a little help for 30 days, 60 days, or a little bit longer. Ask them what programs are available for you, and please make sure that you are sincere when you're speaking to them, since your credibility will be super important going forward. All right, thank you so much for all your time and uh, for what you're doing for everything. Uh, Debt Resolution Attorney Leslie Tain with the uh, Leslie Tain uh, Law Group. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.